Hey Aquarius Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate you all. Let's get into it. This is a collective reading for Aquarius. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Flip the rose if you need to. It could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you. I'm picking up on. Don't try to force anything to fit. That's not your story. Y'all know you should own discernment. Overall energy for you is altar, union, marriage, vows, divination, and sacrifice. Okay, let me tell y'all something. Before I started your reading, I heard Slow Down by Bobby, ba wasn't it? Bobby Valentino. Slow Down. I just want to get to know you. Because that pretty round thing looked good to me. Some of y'all think this person saw you from behind. And then when you turn around, it was like, it's even better in the front. <laughs> um, uh, I heard a couple of different songs. I want to get next to you. Sitting here. In this chair, <laughs> talk until I'm black and blue. Y'all know that old song. I wanna get next to you. I heard that song. Don't know why. So many songs kept coming through for me, and I'm like, okay, spirit, wait a minute. I can't take all of it. Somebody wants you, and they want you bad. I don't know if they've already let you know. Wow, look, your first card is someone wants to build. To slowly build with you. This could be a Virgo for some of you. Um, What was the other sign I just heard in my head? I got too many things coming in at once. What was the Oh, Pisces. It could be a Pisces or some of you could be on the Aquarius Pisces cusp. But this is someone who's a really hard worker. They're trying to manifest you. It says practice makes perfect. You can work with this person. You can work with them or you know them to be a hard worker. They could even own a business. But that card is all about mastery, manifestation. It's a good reputation. This person has a good reputation. You can trust them. The only thing about them is they're slow. That's the only thing I will tell you is that they're extremely slow. Okay? They're going to move slow. Something about eight years could be significant. They could be an eight-year age difference. You could have known them for eight years. This could be happening over the next eight years. Obviously, time is fluid, right? Um, this person is dazed. I'm hearing dazed and confused. I feel like they just kind of like stare into space thinking about you. I feel like you work with this person. I'm seeing somebody in a security guard kind of uniform or something, maybe at your job, somebody that you walk past every day. Somebody has their eye on you and they think about you a lot. They're very attracted to you. But I asked what's going on in your thoughts right now. We have changed. I'm hearing changed mind. Your mind has changed about something or someone in your energy. Your love message is push and pull. This is Aquarius energy. Aquarius, you could be dealing with another Aquarius. Whoever this person is, they're problematic. And let me tell you all the ways they could be problematic so you'll know if this is your reading and your person. Or that at least that aspect. Some of it might be, some of it may not be. But some of you, there's somebody in your energy. Again, it could be another Aquarius. doesn't have to be. But this is a person who gets high. On being low. Ooh, that was a bar. <laughs> they get high off of being low, right? Meaning, you could be having a really good day with this person. Everything is perfect. And you're like, you know what? Let's watch a movie. Or let's go get something to eat. Like, you're just in a chill head space. And this person will start an argument with you about the most petty thing. That's a very petty person to pop a sword. Petty, petty, petty. Petty boots, right? Cutthroat, though. They will do things underhanded, behind your back. They won't want you to do it to them, but they'll do it to you, right? You'll find out or you have found out things about this person that you looked at them completely differently because you're like, who are you? Like, I would never expect you to do that to me, but this person can't be trusted, okay? Um, they don't have a lot of integrity. This is a sneaky person. This is a person who um, is cutthroat. But the thing about them that's so crazy is they got push and pull. So this person, it's a love-hate thing. They love you one minute, they hate you the next. And they're the kind of person that to tell you they hate you too. Okay? But this talks about hate and ambush and a power struggle. They want to have the upper hand, even though you might be coming into it wanting to compromise. Compromise to them is you having the upper hand because they don't have total control. We ain't going to spend too much time talking about this trash person. Man, that, that's what I'm seeing. Show me this new person. That's what we want to see. Oh. And y'all know what's crazy, Bobby Valentino is a Pisces. Slow down, I don't want to get to know you, but don't turn around. Two of Wands. Hmm. 
you got to detach from the past. Some of y'all already married to someone. You might need to divorce this person. Others of you, this other person that's coming in could be an Aries or Pisces. Maybe somebody on the Pisces, Aries cuz. October the 2nd or uh, February the 10th could be significant. That could be your birthday, February 10th. All I know is somebody got to disconnect. Because as you can see, look at all these hands. Look at all these hands, y'all. You got these two hands coming in union together, right? Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> but you got this person here with these two blue gloves. You see one hand here, one hand here. And then there's a third hand here holding this other wand. Wands represent phallic symbols, y'all. That's just what they are. I mean, they are magic. They are magician's wand, right? They they are making things, creating things. That's what the wands are all about, creativity and all of that. But there's another hand here. Somebody can have a tattoo on their hand that can give you an indication of who this third person might be. I don't know. But there's too many hands in the mix here. Because it's like you have your person focused on you and they coming together. But there's a third little hand sticking in here. I don't know what that's all about, but there's some other party here. Somebody can have a henna tattoo on their hand or something like that. That could be what this is about. I don't know. But we have Aries and we have Pisces here. Somebody wants to slowly build with you. This is a person who sees a lot of potential in the connection. They feel like you two could really go to duration. Okay, that's a promising connection. This is somebody thinking long-term planning for the future. So that I feel like this person is very financially stable and hardworking, whoever they are. Because you have a 10 and then you have the eight of pentacles with the two of wands, which is another 10. I mean, this person is very hardworking, but it's going to be passion as well. It's not going to be a boring connection. Show me, Dave. Show me who this person is. Oh, the lovers. It could be a Gemini with the 10 of wands. I feel like whoever they are, they work very hard. I feel like this person holds back from you. June the 10th or October the 6th could be significant. So the 6th, the 10th, the 2nd of the month, you have two 10s here. Some of y'all, I feel like they daydream about you, but they know you're in another connection. It could be a Sagittarius or a Gemini involved here. Those are opposite signs. Hmm, interesting. We got Virgo and Pisces. Those are opposite signs. Aquarius... Your opposite sign is Leo. Maybe it'll be a Leo for you because we got all these opposite signs coming out. Show me change. Why has your mind changed about something? Knight of Cups. And then the Tower. We got Pisces again. Scorpio and Aries. This person might, between, might be between 20 and 35. Um, January 17th could be significant. I'm, I'm sorry. January the 16th could be significant. That would be a Capricorn. Some of you could be on a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. Hmm. I see what it is. You changed your mind about maybe a Scorpio and Aries or Pisces or whomever you were romantically connected to because they love bombed you. They promised you things and they didn't live up to it. Something fell apart instantly. I'm feeling this person could be immature. They could have also ran off to the next person. Whomever they ran towards, it's, it's a mess. It's a lot of chaos. But I also feel like there's somebody here who has very intense feelings for you that they are hiding, okay? Somebody could be between 20 and 35 years old here. I don't really, that's not really my audience. I mean, I do have a few people that fit into that age group, but that could be somebody you're connected to. Show me pushing forward with this past person being raggedy. Who's this raggedy past person? High Priestess. And it's all Pisces with the three of wands. Okay, some of y'all, this person kept a lot of secrets from you. I feel like they turned their back on you too. Could have kind of just left you without even saying anything, move forward. They could have ghosted you. Hmm. This is about growth and expansion. I feel like something suddenly ended that looked like it was going well. Like it, you didn't even feel it coming. You're finding the strength to move forward. I feel like your intuition was always telling you something was off with this person. But this three of wands, he's looking at her. He's still kind of looking back. 
Usually that card, the head is facing the other way because you're moving forward. This person is slightly looking at the high priestess. Um, this could be you. This could be you always wondering what could have been, what if, and will they change? You know what I mean? Um, your feelings have changed for this person though, suddenly. But I feel like you might, this push and pull energy could even be you. This is Aquarius energy. You might go back and forth, a love-hate relationship. But there's somebody new here. I, I told y'all they're going to be a hard worker with money. And they're coming in quick. Somebody could work in transportation. This person could own the transportation business or travel for work or something like that. Oh, my God. This is a beautiful person coming towards you. A very generous person. They're going to give you a lot. <laughs> They're going to want to spend a lot of money on you. It could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And some of you work with this person or they are a boss. They have their own business and it could have something to do with transportation. They could, I'm hearing, be about to retire. They could be older than you. This is an older masculine. So they could be older than you. But this relationship is going to be solid and stable. This is a stable offer coming in from the universe. Let me get a piece of advice for you, Aquarius. I keep telling y'all. Every single time, somebody new wants you, but you got to release somebody from the past. And I feel like until you do that fully, get them out of your energy, this other person is not going to be able to come through. This is why they're in this dazed energy with this ten of wands. They feel like this is an uphill battle. Like, how can I get through? Because you might talk to this person about your situation. We have resolution. Whatever it is that you've been struggling with, look at this. Struggle. That's what that is. Is about to be resolved. Remember that resolutions don't always happen in a way that we hope or want. But being able to move forward. I told you. Being able to move forward and start fresh always brings relief. Some of y'all know you know you need to move on. You know you need to move forward. But you keep kind of slightly looking back. Wondering. And you're looking back at this. Yeah. A bunch of drama. A bunch of drama. I told y'all growth and expansion. Look what's at the bottom. It says you... You're being asked to expand. You live in a huge world with endless possibilities and staying safe in the known is no longer working for you. You cannot make it up. That's what this means, y'all. Coming out of your comfort zone because something in your emotional past could be holding you back. You keep looking to the past. It's your emotions. But it says staying safe in the known is no longer working for you. It's time to make your world just a little bit bigger. It's time to imagine the possibilities and go for it. And this is all about endless possibilities. This is about broadening your horizon, seeing what else is out there for you. Those are your messages. And there is a beautiful person who wants to marry you and give you the life and love of your dreams. All right, y'all, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.